Uh, um, hi, we're doing Country Streaks, playing GeoGuessr. Played this quite a bit, never made videos or anything until now. You have eyes, you read the title of the video, let's get into it. So we got white plates, EU badge, very European looking place, very green landscape. Still an EU badge on quite an old car, that's one thing to note. Several countries joined the EU quite later than others, so in Croatia you'll still see lots of cars with completely white plates. Now I believe this car does have an Italian plate, however most of the cars we've seen already do not. Presumably, we're somewhere near the Italian border, though this could be a, just a lost Italian guy. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, we're in Romania. That is the Romanian flag and the Romanian language. It's not actually the Romanian flag, it's vertical, but same colours. Next, we have, uh, okay, well, German. However, this is not Germany because the camera quality is good, very bright, and that's an Austrian Vienna. Viennese sign, <laughs> so we're in Vienna. We have Sky Rifts here. Sky Rifts usually means Senegal. I recognize this marker, so I'm going with Senegal. Fantastic. Okay, this is... I mean, that looked French to me. So that could just be a... Now this looks very French. Okay, I'm gonna go France and hope for the best. Excellent. It was actually Paris. It's South Korea. If you don't know, circles looks Asian, it's South Korea. Or it's Korean, sorry I should say. It's just that, as you may guess, North Korea doesn't have coverage. These are sort of Lithuanian and Polish poles, that, that weird triangle shape. The landscape is very much in line with what those countries look like. Hopefully if we see some language I'll understand straight away where we are. Okay, well that's not Polish, that's... that's... I'm going to risk it and say we're in Lithuania, and we are. I'm going to try and be quick as well. I could just sit around and try and to be really thorough, but try and be fairly swift. Now this is probably Australia or New Zealand. Never mind, we're driving on the right, so it's not either of those. If I were being really risky, I would say this is enough because Canada usually states that it's kilometers per hour for all the silly Americans on the other side of the border, probably. Construction one kilometer, well, that does it. We're in Canada. And we are actually in, well, uh, on, on dot .ui, well that's a very useful South Korea again, thank you very much. We got the circle over the A, which means we're either in Norway or Sweden. Frankly, I don't think that exists in Finnish. This scenery is making me think a lot of Norway. I don't want to make a fool of myself, I want to make sure we're not in Sweden. Actually, I think I've made a fool of myself completely because that looks incredibly Finnish to me, to the point where I'm just going to, yeah, these like double Ks, these like Atu, Luka, it's, yeah, Finnish is not a similar language to Norwegian or Swedish. The camera looks very bright, very saturated. This is a van. Thanks, Larry, I'm so glad you said that. I don't like that this car seems to be veering off to this diagonal and then going back onto the other side of the road. Valplat, okay, well that looks Dutch slash Afrikaans, so I would say that I'm just gonna go South Africa. Cool. Dot BE, well, thank you very much, that is Belgium. Interesting, left hand drive uh, looks a lot like either Australia or South Africa. No, that's, that's an Australian sign. Yeah. <laughs> The font, the, the way it, the, the green, the borders, looks far, I've never seen one of those in South Africa. Okay, this I would say is probably Bulgaria or Serbia, just because it's very dry, you've got this kind of, I would say winter coverage, I think this is winter. Not many countries have the Google car out there during the winter. Look, look, it's winter, snow. Here we go, sign. Glad I didn't give up, well, I mean, that's the Bulgarian flag in case you didn't know. I mean, thanks very much, but I don't believe you, I don't think we're in America. <laughs> Those are almost certainly Austrian signs. And it is very bright. I'm gonna go Austria. Excellent. It was the outskirts of Vienna. There seems to be some kind of shape-shifting landscape here, but in one of the phases we have the Peruvian flag proudly being waved, so that tells you everything you need to know. I believe this is Iceland. Still probably is Iceland, because it says Iceland. Let me explain why though, it's got a very flat landscape, very kind of mountainous, this really open airy atmosphere, empty roads, the word Iceland kind of helps as well. That is not Polish nor Lithuanian, because that's an umlaut. I'm quite shocked by that, I think the only place this could therefore be is Estonia, a language very similar to Finnish. Yeah, I'm going for it. Now that is Swedish. The font is the Swedish roadside font, simple as. 
Yeah. Now this is a sign that is Dutch. However, what if but no, this is Netherlands. Yellow plate on the back. <laughs> That's Hungarian. Thank you very much. Um, Recognising these like umlaut apostrophes, you straight up know you're in Hungary. Also, like lots of Y's after consonants, which is unusual for languages around here. Does that straight up say Paraguay? <laughs> okay, well, there is no Paraguay on Street View. You straight up will never get Paraguay. <laughs> Guess that's a red herring. So, white car. If you line the sun up with a compass, where its point south is to the bottom, which means we are in the southern hemisphere. So, Paraguay might not be too far. White car, where has the white car? Chile has the white car. Maybe Brazil has the white car. I don't think this is Brazil though. The camera is so saturated in Brazil. It probably isn't Argentina because Argentina tends to have the black car. These kind of car rules are more like guidelines. You know, there are exceptions. I don't know where we are. This might be it. This might be where I fall. I might have to just make a guess. This is just so in the middle of absolute butt plug nowhere. This could be Peru for all I know. This could be Brazil because of the Paraguay thing. Here's another sign. Camping! Lovely. This sucks. This is awful. This is just the worst. We're in the Southern Hemisphere. They speak Spanish. Or Portuguese. Okay, I would hazard a guess that that's definitely Spanish and not Portuguese, which rules out Brazil. Bolivia is close to Paraguay, that I think has the... Maybe it's nothing to do with Paraguay, maybe it is just Chile, but I have never seen Chile look like this. So, it's between Chile and Bolivia, because Argentina and Uruguay use the black car. Oh my goodness, how many... How many signs for this camping thing are there? Is this another one? But are they mad? How many times do you need to see this before you go, all oh, right, I think I'm in some kind of campsite? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely stupid. This is just... Okay, well, I got that lovely big information sign. And let me tell you, I still don't know anything. That could be, you know, a similar inversion of the flag of Chile or something, but... All right, I guess I've got to go for it. The only real clue I have is this questionable symbol. So I've just got to go for it. It's probably Chile or Bolivia. <laughs> wow. I thought the video was over. There's Paraguay. <laughs> it's Lithuania, cool. I'm gonna go Germany because of the camera quality. Yep. God, this looks unbelievably hot. Like, look how dead everything is. Look how dead the grass is. Which, if you asked me, would indicate we're probably not in Canada, but I could be wrong. A weird way to distinguish Canada from the US that not many people think about is that the US loves this, this one way of building houses and nothing else. Canada tends to be quite diverse with the way it builds houses. <laughs> so, for that reason, and for the that, I'm going to say we're in the US.